On the eastern border of Iowa, we have the mighty Mississippi. On the western border, we have Big Muddy, <laughs> the Missouri River. The Missouri River is the longest river in the country. It starts way up in Montana and winds its way down through some northern states before flowing past the edge of Iowa and heading south, eventually joining the Mississippi River on its way to the Gulf of Mexico. A long time ago, traveling the Missouri River on a steamboat was one of the only ways passengers could go west. But as one steamboat captain said, the Missouri River was famous for eating boats. Why? I'm at the DeSoto National Wildlife Refuge in Missouri Valley, Iowa. The visitor center here has a display of cargo that was discovered on the steamboat Bertrand, which sunk while traveling the Missouri River. Where was this boat starting and ending? It was starting in St. Louis, okay. and it was supposed to make it all the way to Fort Benton, Montana territory. OK, but it didn't, because what happened? On April 1st, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, right near here, it struck what's called a snag. Oh, OK. What's a snag? It's a log, a tree that falls into the river, uh -huh. and its roots snag in the riverbank. OK. And then it just sits there. Okay. Uh -huh. like and a, eventually like, the boat was, it just sunk, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. the boat but, hit the snag and sank. Okay, and this was kind of a normal thing for the time, right? Yes. The Bertrand was not the only <laughs> no. boat that sunk. So <laughs> what do you make of that? There were snags and what were some other challenges of travel on the Missouri? Uh, sandbars were a big one. The boat would just hit the sandbar. They mm -hmm. couldn't really see it oh, and it sure. would get stuck on the sandbar. Um, so they would have to work their way across the sandbar and that could really slow them down. Okay. Uh, unlike the Mississippi, the Missouri is very shallow. Okay. Um, the water is very muddy. They only had two times of year they could go up the river in late March and early June. So the steamboat Bertrand sank in 1865. Is this kind of the height of steamboat travel? Yeah. Like when did that start and when did it start to decline? The first steamboat on the Missouri was in about 1819, but it didn't really take off until they found gold mm. in Montana in 1862. Okay, and then what, when did it start to decline and, and for what reasons? On the lower Missouri, it lasted about the 1870s. Um, okay. When, this, when the railroad made it to mm. Sioux City and Yankton, South Dakota. And then all of that transportation was being handled right. by the railroad. Right. Is the steamboat Bertrand still here? It is. It's not in this building. It's about a mile down the, the lake, on the other side of the lake, okay. under a pond where they ex excavated it in the 1960s. OK, so they completed a full excavation. Right. And then what happened after that? They were thinking of ways they could, they could bring the boat up and display it for the public. But it was too fragile. The oxygen would cause the wood to rot. So basically, they just covered it over with a tarp and sand turned off the pumps from the excavation and let the water fill in the hole. And so now there's a pond there? There is. <laughs> with the steamboat underneath being nicely preserved. Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs>